Good morning, folks. Welcome to another chip break. Today's business lesson is gonna be on business plans, so stick around. I need your advice, though, which is I'm really enjoyed, I'm really excited about cleaning up all of these older machines that we bought, including this radial arm drill. And it was, well, um, we stripped the paint off, but not quite all the way down, and I, I want your advice about what to do. Do I, should I use, you know, the wire wheel that we've been using, which works well, but boy, it's, it's not only it's time consuming, but it's just very, very difficult to get it all off and creates a huge mess in the shop. I've had a really hard time containing that dust that just goes airborne. So I, do I do more to really clean this thing up or do I just basically paint over it like this? Uh, we did some sample tests on some pieces that we were able to pull off and I gotta say, I think it looks great. It's really cleaning up nicely. This though was a little bit uh, more cleaned up than this casting is, but you know, there's no way for me to take this off. So you're just never gonna get all the little stuff off of here. So I'm just kind of torn about that balance of, hey, I wanna make this thing look nice, but I can't take forever on it. Getting ready. So this week we're here next, we have training classes this week. Next week we're in Las Vegas and then the Haas comes. So I'm really excited. We ran a water line for the coolant uh, top off. Uh, I don't like it, but it's gonna work for now. Uh, I wanted basically to have, have it in place so that way when the service tech is here, he can help us learn it. And if we need to improve it later, we'll, we'll do so. 440 Automation is coming along great. I'm really excited. Platter is working, so really excited for that. And this thing, folks, oh my gosh. These are clear path servos. These are amazing. I cannot tell you how excited I am for these. We just got this in. Um, this is a Bell Everman stage. This is a pretty nice high-end stage. This is just a demo uh, thing for us. But we have got some awesome videos coming on using these with Arduino. I, excuses are BS, you know, talk the talk, or excuse me, walk, walk the walk, don't talk the talk. I know uh, we haven't put out as many Arduino videos as I would have liked, that's coming. It really is coming. And these things, I, I almost don't get it. It's like they're perfect. They are amazingly capable, they're amazing fast. We've got this thing moving uh, over well over a thousand inches a minute. Um, we are gonna do some DIY projects with these. We're gonna do a DIY plasma machine. So much awesome stuff. This is what I love. I love this stuff. December training classes, folks. We've got three training classes we're offering now in December. Intro to Fusion 360, our three-day hands-on machining class, which is Fusion, CAD, CAM, running the Tormach machines, and then we've got an advanced CAM class. So if you're interested, please consider signing up and coming to our facility here in Zanesville and learning. Look at this thing moving. Look at it. It's gonna get faster now. It's, oh my gosh, this makes me go crazy. Look at it. I think the fastest speed, I don't wanna speak is, oh my gosh, I love it. I think it's 1400 inches a minute, which is just bonkers. I gotta give a shout out to the folks at Pearson Work Holding. They make the vacuum plate that we used, a link to a video here on it, and look at what they made. This is so up the alley of what things I love. Look at this. Drops it onto their vacuum plate, automatically activates, starts work, starts machining, starts working. What I love about this, it's not complicated. Any idiot can make something complicated. This, the genius is in the simplicity of it. Anyone can do this. The pneumatic down ram means you don't need the feed hopper of parts or the feed stack to maintain a constant height. And the vacuum plate is all ready to go. It's, they integrated it with a Haas here. You can do the same thing with the Tormach USB breakout board, just like we did link here in the video on our coolant system for our lathe. They make an awesome product. I love this. It makes me want to do the same thing for our clamps. So maybe we will. We'll, we'll do this rotating platter version and hey, maybe we'll make a second version of it. Okay, let's talk business plans. 
So what is a business plan? It's an outline of how you might not only start a company, but even grow a company. And it's a way for you to lay down a lot of the various things that go into a successful business. And I would say, you know, so many people write business plans for other people, for investors or for lenders or for offerings. But I will tell you, a business plan is more helpful to you than it is to somebody else. And that's the really one of the things I want you guys to take away is, is sometimes it's the journey here, not the destination. So I'm really excited. We're sharing this whole document for the folks that support our channel on Patreon. You can click a link here in the top left, as little as a few bucks a month. If you're going to start a company that has major growth prospects and you're looking to say, take it public or, or make it a major offering or raise you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, of course, you'll absolutely need a business plan. It'll have to be a very good business plan. But even if you're tight starting a micro startup or a hobby or a nighttime business, or you're thinking, hey, I don't love my job, so I want to create a successful side business that maybe in a few years um, I'm going to be successful enough to, to break away. That's what this is for. Here's the other thing. Do not be intimidated. There's a lot of information here. Executive summary, industry and marketplace analysis, financial plan, management, operations. The value in this document, the value in this business plan is helping you think about the stuff you may not even know. That's what this is great about. It helps you understand what is important. There's a thing called a SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. That's the kind of stuff that you want to digest, that you want to think about. And maybe you say, hey, you know what? That's something, it's not something I need to worry about today, but it's all part of understanding a plan. And this is fundamental to the core of what you're doing because at a minimum, you need to sell yourself on your business plan or in your business idea. Many of you, if you're married or have a family, you need to sell your spouses and your family on why this is a good use of your time and why this is a good use of money and capital. And you may need to do it to beyond uh, stakeholders. You may need to do it to shareholders. Again, if you're going to go raise money from family or friends, something I have some pretty strong views on discouraging you from doing. Likewise, I generally would discourage people from going into to debt. But regardless, this is going to be something that you need to understand and own. So I'm going to leave it at that. I would really encourage you guys to uh, download this file, take a look at it, support our channel on Patreon, and let's talk more about this in the coming bit chip breaks about some of the various nuances on things. You know, for instance, one of the things that entrepreneurship is knowing what you're not good at. So I'm pretty good, I think, at some of the product stuff, and I'm pretty good at the financial stuff, and I'm pretty good at eh, maybe some of the operation stuff. I'm not a great marketing guy, and I'm not a great analysis guy. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I just don't enjoy the analysis part. I could do it. So that's another thing. Understand how to build your team of people around you, whether that's employees or whether it's consultants, whether it's friends or a peer group. Really, really good stuff, folks. So I'll leave it at that. Take care. See you soon. Mm -hmm.